Hello there. This is the Sounds American Channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the dark L as in the word call. You can also hear this sound in words like tall, gold, fall, or fought. We'll be using a special phonetic symbol L for this sound. Let's get back to our examples. Now, listen to these words pronounced with a regular L and compare. Can you hear any difference? Can you hear any difference now? We can't either. And this is totally fine. The dark and the regular L sound almost the same. The dark L is only a variation of the L sound and not a distinct consonant. And to be honest, that's all that most people need to know about the dark L. But if you don't have more important things to do, keep watching. And you know what? We actually we actually won't be using the dark L symbol. It's never used in dictionaries and we like to keep things simple. Before we get into the dark L discussion, let's recall how to make the regular L sound. Here you go. The L is pronounced with the tip of your tongue touching the alveolar ridge behind your upper front teeth. The back of your tongue is lowered. The L is made with air passing through the mouth around the sides of the tongue like a liquid. By the way, this is why it's called a liquid consonant. Okay now, let's try to pronounce the L in slightly different way. This time, keep the tip of your tongue a little lower so that it doesn't touch the alveolar ridge. The back of your tongue, on the contrary, should be a little higher. Let's try seeing it. L. 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 Have you got it? Congratulations! You've just nailed the dark L sound. Hold on! We're not done yet. Here's the tricky part. There's no trick distinction between the regular and the dark L in American English. Instead, there are many degrees of darkness and we do love how this sounds. The darkness of the L depends on its position in a word and is adjusted by the tip and the back of your tongue. The lower the tip of your tongue, the darker the L you get. Now, the question is, when should you and shouldn't you make your L dark? This is actually pretty simple. Always check the, the sound before the L. If it's one of the back vowel sound, like in the words tall, fall, gold, and fault, pronounce the darkest L possible. The thing, the thing is, when you make the back vowel, your tongue is already pulled back. So it's easier to make the dark L. Tall, fall, gold, and fault if it's one of the central or front vowels like in the words deal mill tell or final pronounce the uh that's slightly darker 
than the regular one. It's okay to gently touch your alveolar ridge, deal, mill, tail, final. Now, what happens when there a consonant before the L or the L is at the beginning of a word or a syllable? Correct! In that case, pronounce your regular L sound Play, clean, light, or look. At this point, you may wonder what's going on in the read area. This is to show you one of the most typical mistakes that people make when pronouncing the L sound. There is the L sound also known as the soft L, which exists in several languages but doesn't exist in American English. The soft L is pronounced with the tip of your tongue curled back to your palate and this is not how to make any of the American L sound. Remember, if you pronounce the soft L instead of the L sound, it seriously affects your American accent. Pronunciation exercise 1. Bold. All. Sold. Gold. Fold. Ball. Pull, vault, told, goal, ball, salt, ball, cool, pull. Pronunciation exercise 2. Salad, health, adult, bill, color, feel. College, galoon, email, serial, fill, bulb, build, belt, deal. Pronunciation exercise 3. Place, lift, look, lady, black, old, wall, police. Flat, golf, golden, else, small, tall, roll, model, class, whole, crawl. Thank you.